Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventure. I'm Chris Dunbar. And this episode, Dayglow IPA. Uh, this one's by Elysian. And uh, let's be honest, half the time if you buy this, you bought it because the bottle's freaking cool and you want to try an IPA. Um, so these guys are out of Washington and somewhere on here is the... Uh, Seven four, that was it. I remember if it was seven four or eight four. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Woo! Christmas trees. All right. Let's get some. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you're really going to smell the uh, hops in this one. Which you don't get the same hop taste that you get hop no, smell. No, you don't. Mm -mm. So that's kind of neat. It says... Uh, Dago crashes the party with the juicy beat of hops, dripping with tropical, sunshiny mosaic and sparkling with touches of El Dorado and Centennial. Um, I can see that. It does have that real juicy flavor. Yeah, juicy. Pineapple-y. It's real yeah. citric. Yeah. I kind of get like kind of a... Uh, honestly, it's been a while since I've had it, but I think it's kind of that guava taste. Mm -hmm. um, the smell tends to be a little more piney, mm -hmm. but the flavor is <clears throat> not piney and it's not resiny. No, no, no. Um, it doesn't feel like 7% alcohol. It feels more four and a half session. Yeah, it's real It's real smooth. It's kind of light. It's not real heavy mouthfeel. It's not real light mouthfeel either, I guess. I don't know. Kind of uh, medium yeah. bodied. Medium bodied. Um, it almost feels a little wheat. I don't think there's, you know, how like a wheat beer's kind of got that that smooth, not overpowering. It's kind of got that, but um, yeah. And usually for uh, you know, I don't know what it says it is. Let's say style wise, if it is a New England IPA, you make it with a little bit of wheat in there to get that hazy to kind of make it that okay. juice roll over your tongue a little better. Maybe it does have. Wheat. <laughs> I don't know the ingredients of it. I haven't looked I don't into know. it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The other stuff is saying that's one, a couple things that uh, GFB, or the GABF, the Great American Beer Festival. Um, it's got a pretty awesome label. Uh, I'll try to get this off and get into my label book, um, which is kind of, you know, part of collecting the beers. You can peel the label off and keep it much more than you can the, uh, the entire bottle there. Um, honestly, I was expecting with the label and it being an IPA and I've had their space dust, mm -hmm. I was actually kind of expecting it to be a sensory overload, like an assault. Yeah. Uh, I think it's much more refined and much more subdued than I was really anticipating. Um, it's it's got a cleaner taste and a more I guess citrusy taste than I expected, uh, which is pretty good. I mean, I really like the citrusy IPAs. Mm -hmm. um, it's funny when we opened it, I could smell it a lot more than I can smell it now. Yeah, um, I I was gonna say it's it's almost gone down. The, the aromatics have been. Maybe they breathed out. They've been subdued now. That they've been released. I don't know. It's not as it's not as pungent as it was. Yeah, because when I first smelled it, like 
it just kind of erupted into my nose and now it's just pretty chill. And I just swirl it and I don't. A little bit more, but. I actually, much. the more I get, the more foam and the more head, the more citrus notes I smell, which I guess mm -hmm. that's some of those citrusy hops. Um, I don't know. It's kind of neat. Yeah. To be honest, I'm actually liking it more the more I drink it, um, which is pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, you might be able to hear the little tinkling. That's the puppy dog over, you know, in the corner. But, uh. It's not bad. No. Uh, like I said, it's not the sensory assault mm -hmm. I was I was preparing myself mm -hmm. for. I've uh, I would say this would probably be a good dinner beer. Yeah, but like out at a you know, I don't know, Red Robins or something. Be nice with a good burger. Yeah, I think it could stack up to like a big. Greasy cheeseburger and fries yeah. and stuff. I don't know that I'd want, you know, something real mellow like a grilled cheese. I don't know. It depends don't on know. the cheese. It depends on the cheese and the amount <laughs> yeah, of butter, I guess. Yeah. yeah. You know what this also might be good with? Like um like a a shrimp pasta. Yeah. Um they'd or, contrast very well, but they'd go together. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, or blackened chicken. This could mm -hmm. stand up to real spice. Or even like hot wings. This could stand up to something with the uh, high fat content and the uh, really bold. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is something sold local to me and I, for whatever reason, I've just avoided it. I don't know why. I always reach for something else. I'm completely new in tasting this. I'm completely brand new. I've never had this one either. No idea. I haven't even read anything about it. Uh, so... Uh, but yeah, it's. I may start picking it up. To be honest with you, I like it's pretty good. Yeah, right here it says contains wheat. It does. So yeah. Hey, we were right. That's. Look at that. The palates <laughs> are evolving. We're talking about it. Probably had wheat, and then we read it. And it does. <laughs> we're learning. You're learning. Um, you know. And you can tell. Like I'm not that good an actor. I didn't know that. I just <laughs> thought I could taste that and feel that. I'm getting better at this shit, guys, after all these beers. So, um, let's go ahead and, and, and get to the ratings and rankings. Did you dig it? Yes. I did. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, would you buy another? Yeah. Yeah. I think I would. Um, I'm not sure what, what like, container sizes it comes in. Somebody told me they can it, but I don't know that I've seen it. I have seen the Bombers. That's what I picked up. Um, and I've seen it in six packs local to me. Oh, you have seen it in six packs? I have six pack bottles. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there you go. You can pick it up in a six pack. I could see having a six pack because 12 ounces of this would be great. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'd, I'd run through a whole sixer in a sitting, but, um, you know, I would definitely drink one and then get another one later out of the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and uh, what do you rate this? One to ten. I'll give it a solid seven. I'm I'm exactly I'm on the same spot. This is this is well above average, and and this is a, a really good IPA. Well, there you have it, folks. To your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers.